Today, in this project, you will learn how to make IoT Smart RFID door lock system using your MCU ESP8266, RFID MF RC522 module, or Relay Solenoid Lock and Blink IoT platform. With the help of this project, you can remotely monitor your door lock from anywhere in the world using your phone. This video is brought to you by PCBY.com. PCBY.com is one step solution for all your PCB needs like PCB prototyping, SMD stencils, PCB assembly, etc. Currently, they are offering 10 pieces of 2 layer PCB at just $5. So, get your first prototype PCB ready from PCBY.com. The link is in the description below. Just click on the PCB Instant Quit tab, then click on Quick Order PCB. Now, upload your Garver file and place your order. So, without further delay, let's get started. First of all, let's see the overview of this project. In the Blink IoT app, I have added two tabs, usually one is for remote access controls and other for live monitoring. Each time, user swipes a card or message is received. The remote access control tab is used for authorizing and deauthoring users. As you can see here, all the buttons are turned on, which means the admin has given access to all three users. If the buttons are turned off, users won't be able to open the door lock. Features of IoT-based RFID smart door lock system Blinking LED as Wi-Fi and IoT server response. Buzzer for an alert system. Authorize and deauthorize users from anywhere in the world. Over the air configuration update. Easily reconfigure Wi-Fi credentials stored in EEPRM without hard coding. Live monitor your door lock from anywhere in the world. This project also has a green LED. It helps to indicate Wi-Fi connection and blink IoT server connection. It blinks while data is sent successfully to the server. Similarly, a buzzer is also added to alert when unauthorized access is detected. In order to open the door lock, permissions will be granted by the admin. As you can see here, only authorized users can unlock the door lock. This project has integrated reconfiguring device features. Hence, you can easily discover your device and enter your new Wi-Fi SSID and password wirelessly using your smartphone. Now, you can connect this device to any Wi-Fi network without programming to the board. You can also press and hold the flash button for 10 seconds on the Node MCU ESP8266 board to erase the Wi-Fi credentials stored in EEPRAM. Sometimes, a condition may evolve in your project that you should intentionally erase the Wi-Fi credentials. In that case, you can use this button. It switches node MCU to AP mode and allows you to discover your device in Blink IoT, where you can configure your Wi-Fi SSID and password. The components and tools used in this project are easily available on Amazon. Node MCU ESP8266 Development Board RFID EMF RC522 module A relay module 12 volt solenoid door lock A LED and 5 volt buzzer IoT Smart RFID door lock circuit diagram You can see the circuit diagram is very simple to understand. Connect the RFID module to node MCU as per the circuit diagram. Connect relay input pin to D4 pin of node MCU. Similarly, buzzer negative terminal is connected to the ground and positive terminal to the D8 pin of node MCU. Now, the green LED is connected to the ST3 GPI010 pin of node MCU. Setting of Blink IoT Dashboard In order to monitor and control door lock using Blink IoT Server, you first need to set up the Blink IoT Cloud Dashboard. To set up the Blink Server, visit the HTTPS Blink Cloud. Create an account or simply sign in if you created the account earlier. Creating Blink New Template A template is a project in which you can create a web and mobile dashboard for a specific hardware. In our case, it's an IoT Smart Door Lock. For creating a project, first you have to click on the new template. 
Enter a template name. I am giving it IoT Smart Door. Select the hardware board ESP8266. The connection type will be Wi-Fi. You can add a description of your project if required. Click on Done. Now the template is created. Here are two important things that you should remember. One is template ID and on the one is the device name, which is required during the time of programming. Creating new blink data stream. A data stream is like a pipeline or channel. The data will be sent or received to these data channels. In a single project or template, there can be multiple data stream. In our project, we are adding three RF ID cards. So you can give names to those RF ID cards. In my case, Mr. Elson, Ms. Asika, Dr. Smith and live monitoring are four data stream. I choose virtual pins V3, V4 and V5 respectively for user names and V2 for the live monitoring. The variable data type is a string for live monitoring and for users it's an integral type. After that move on the web dashboard. In this section, you will be able to see some widgets for making your cool looking web dashboard. But you can only authorize and deauthorize users from the web dashboard but cannot leave monitored or log from the web due to a lack of terminal widget. So, add three buttons for three different users and configure data stream to them as for the username. Programming Sketch Before you start the programming, first of all, make sure you have downloaded all the necessary libraries. Download Program Sketch zip file. Place all the files under the same folder. So it first, I started by including the libraries needed for IoT Smart RF ID door lock system using your MCU. Define SS and RST pin of RFID. Define relay and buzzer pin. Create RFID instance. I have defined a timer here. Button 1, button 2 and button 3 are the integral type variable. All the buttons are assigned to 0. This means by default the user has no access to the door lock. Hence, the button value can be 0 and 1. 0 means no access and 1 means access is granted to the user. The terminal wizard is assigned to the virtual pin V2. Inside board setup, serial communication is activated at 115200 board rate for debugging purposes. SPI was and the RFID reader are initiated. LED relay and buzzer are used as output. IoT RFID is a user defined function that is executed after every one second using this timer dot set interval function. In the loop section, timer dot run and blink ag dot run function are initiated. In this void IoT RFID user defined function, we read the RFID card, select the card and then print the UID in the serial monitor. The main logic behind this project is here. If the RFID identification matches the provided number and the button value is equal to 1 only, it will open the lock and send a message to the serial monitor and blink virtual terminal for live monitoring. After a delay of 5 seconds, the door is automatically locked. You can change the delay value according to your requirements. For the demonstration, I am using a delay of 5 seconds. Every RFID card has different identification numbers, so to find your card UID number, simply offer this program code and open the serial monitor. It will print the UID in the serial monitor, hence you can note them here in the program code. Similarly, the same condition is applied to two more cards. You can add as many cards as you want, using this if-else statement. When either of the condition becomes false, then else statement is executed. This will bring the access and deny message to the serial monitor as well as the blink virtual terminal. After that, the warning will be given through buzzer. These three functions are used to send values 0 and 1 using buttons through the virtual pins V3, V4 and V5. These variables are stored in button 1, button 2 and button 3. Depending upon the balance stored, the access is given to the users. So, 0 means access denied and 1 means access is granted to the user. Now, choose your Node MCU board and correct board. Compile the program sketch and upload it to the Node MCU to Valley board. When you successfully upload the program to the Node MCU board, open the serial monitor to see the project into action. Now, let's set up Blink IoT 2.0 mobile application. Download the Blink application to your mobile. After installing the application, log into your account. Turn on the developer mode if it is not turned on by going on your profile. Click on Add New Device. Click on Ready. Choose the Wi-Fi which is created by the Node MCU. Give the Wi-Fi credentials of the router with which you want to connect the Node MCU. Click on Continue. 
Now, the board will connect to the router if the given Wi-Fi credentials are true. Click on Continue. Provide your device name and click Continue. Eight tabs widget to the main screen and name tab 1 as Remote Access Control and tab 2 as Live Monitoring. Similarly, add three buttons and configure them as shown here. Also, configure the Terminal widget in the Live Monitoring tab. So, that's all for the mobile dashboard setup. Further, you can now authorize or deauthorize the users from anywhere in the world. Finally, we have successfully made an IoT-based RFID smart door lock system using our MCU ESP8266 RFID MF RC522 module, a relay module, a voucher and lead. I hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial. For more amazing tutorials, keep supporting us by sharing this video on social media. It's me Asika signing off for today. Catch you on next one. Till then, stay happy, stay cool.